Hi everyone and welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. We are on the beautiful patio at Francesca's at the Westin La Cantera. Look at the view here. Just spectacular. And something else equally as wonderful, the food. Francesca's is a fabulous place to have dinner and they have a pastry chef. Chocolate is one of my passions and this guy knows chocolate like you can't believe. Look at what he's going to show us today. Okay, chocolate fans, I told you, you're gonna be in heaven here. Is that not the most beautiful sight? And there's more of where that came from. We're at the Westin La Cantera in Francesca's kitchen, but we're with the pastry chef for the entire resort, Chef Henry Wesolowski from Boston, yes. but from San Antonio for many, many years, and from the Westin for many, many years. This guy's incredible. He can do almost, I would say, any pastry you want. You we could make, make it. it. Yes. And we requested chocolate today. It's a personal favorite of mine. And you are an expert in chocolate. You've actually traveled to Venezuela to study chocolate. Yes, went to Venezuela, went to plantations um, into the jungle to see how, how the chocolate's grown, how it's processed, been to different processing plants, um, traveled around the country to see also how fruits and vegetables, but the whole how the whole system of chocolate works and how it's produced and grown and taken care Was that of the most fun trip ever? I cannot imagine a trip just, just to study chocolate. Yeah, it was a blast. You know, oh, we got a chance to walk in the jungle where, where not many people get the chance to go to see stuff grown yeah. and, and how it's taken care of and how it's uh, processed and actually the people pick it and all that stuff. And people who work with chocolate often have a favorite. Do you have a particular favorite you often go to when you're making a dish like this or something else? We typically go to a darker chocolate, like a 60% or something uh -huh. that's got, got a lot more chocolate cocoa flavor and not too much sugar and sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So we're always looking for, for that, for that really good chocolate, that chocolate flavor. So you get, you get all the cocoa instead of all the sweetness. So I knew I liked to hang out with you. Now I, now I know why. Okay, let's put this together. Show us what we do. Okay, so what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna, we're gonna take. Um, we have our chocolate sphere, which we already made, and we made a little mandolin under, under the bottom of it. And what's a mandolin? A uh, mandolin would be. Um, oh, mandolin. Just, okay. Madeline, but we made it in the form of a little donut, so it's gotcha. such a dessert and it's a, a cocoa-based uh, product, also has chocolate in it. And then we're gonna take some cocoa nib twill, which is the ends of the cocoa beans that have been clipped off. Right. And so we've made almond and sugar, and we've made a little brittle out of that, and we're gonna stick that in the dessert. Okay. And then we're gonna cover it, and then we're gonna pour the hot chocolate over the top of it. Go right ahead. And the cocoa nibs are very good for you. Or cacao nibs, what is the correct term? Uh, we call them cocoa, but cacao probably would be more. There's a lot of iron, magnesium, lots of good stuff in there. The trick here is we're going to try to make sure we can get the lid on it without crushing it too much. There is an art to this. That's why you don't want to make this at home. Just come here to Francesca's and we'll let them do this our, for you. Our lids here. Put it over the top of it. Push this guy down a little bit more. We're actually going to cut into that. It almost seems a shame. <laughs> it's so pretty. So there you go. Okay. It's All right. Spherical. And then the next step. We're gonna get some hot chocolate, we're gonna pour it over the top of it, and we're gonna watch it melt away and then eat it from there. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do is take the take the sauce. We put the chocolate sauce in the in the teapot. We heated it up. Okay. We're gonna pour it over here slowly and and hope that it, it melts away. How pretty. Okay, chocolate lovers, does that not look incredible? Can we drink the chocolate that's left over? <laughs> Oh, look at that. So then you'll have the, the top will break away, and then the, the flavors of the hot chocolate and the chocolate should will melt, and, with the, and there's jam in there, so the whole thing. Oh, yum. All right, we're going to pair a wine with it, and we'll see how this tastes. All right, now comes the best part. I'm with the sommelier here at Francesca, Stephen Kruger. Whenever you're in a restaurant and you don't know about what wine to put with the food, always ask. In fact, a lot of times it's fun just to say, you do the wine, and I'll order the food, and, and I know we're in great hands. So we're pairing what with this chocolate? We have the Sergio Algarini Bio Amarone 2000 Vintage. It has some of the free, sweet, fruity uh, flavors that uh, will complement the, the chocolate. With the dark dessert. chocolate. Yes. Always red wine with dark chocolate. It's, nothing is better than that. Mmm. Oh, my. That was incredible. Mmm. So good. I love this job. Stephen, thank you. It was fabulous. It <laughs> really is perfect pairing. Red wine and chocolate, it doesn't get any better than that. And it doesn't get any better than this. Play tourists in your own town. Come out here for an evening for dinner or maybe for the entire weekend. Now, before you leave the site, don't forget to check out HEB's Fun Wine Buy. Some great reds. It's fall, so let's break out the red wine. And all of our restaurant partners over here with wonderful food ideas to 
get ready for the season. Till next time, everyone, enjoy.